I want to take a minute to go over the front, uh, front loop and back loop. Um, this tends to get a little bit confusing to some people. They tend to confuse front loop and back loop with front post and back post. Um, basically, these two loops make your stitch. And in a regular stitch, we're going to use some single crochet for our sample here. In a regular stitch, you're just going to come through both loops and pull it through, and then you have your regular single crochet. Now, if it tells you to go through front loop only, I tend to use the hook here to do that. It makes it a little bit easier. You're just going to grab one of those two loops, and then you're going to come through like normal and make your single crochet. And if it tells you back loop, I tend to go through with the head and then come through just that single loop. Now, I, on a regular basis, use both loops. It seems to feel a little sturdier for me. However, there are some times when it's really awesome to use the front post and the back post alternating. Um, I do this in my washcloths. It gives you um, a nice texture, and I'm just alterna alternating front loop and back loop here. Um, if you notice, it'll give you a nice texture to work with, uh, and you can start to see it kind of making that bump along the way here. Now I'm going to go do another row so you can see how they build up on each other. And if you look at the back you can still see that loop there. Now this one will start with a regular... I like to get the side foundation in there. Um, now here, if you notice, we still have what was our back loop hanging out and we have our front loop in there. So I'm going to kind of alternate it. We're going to stick with the front loop here that way it alternates it when you're working it out and then again go through just that single loop for the back loop and we're going to again pick up the front loop and I have done whole hats that do this and, and it, it does get easier any stitch I think in the beginning is kind of difficult to pick up and run with um, but once you start in a pattern um, I used to be extremely intimidated in using patterns and once you get moving, it really, really tends to work itself out. Now, if you look, you have some nice texture there. Um, I'm hoping that this is coming across as, as nicely as I'd like. This is the basic single crochet. And if you notice, there's really not much texture there. And this, like I said, I use this in my washcloths because it gives you a kind of interesting texture. Um, and in the washcloths, I like it for exfoliating, washing dishes, whatever. Um, we have a ton of them around my house, so um, we use them for just about everything. But here you see it gives you more of a unique kind of texture, where here you kind of have the basic, just plain single crochet. Um, so I hope that that helps you with the front loop and back loop. Remember, anything that you see in a pattern really can be broken down simply. Um, don't get overly intimidated. That tends to be our biggest problem um, with crafting is that we see the big picture and kind of have a hard time breaking it down sometimes. So just remember, when you're looking at it, front loop, back loop. This is the entire stitch. So when it's telling you to front loop, you just come through the front. And when it's telling you to back loop, you just grab that back. So I hope that that's cleared things up for you a little bit. And again, if there's anything that you'd like to see or anything that you feel I'm going a little too fast, please just leave me a comment and let me know. Thanks.